Welcome to my new self-defense martial arts teaching video for YouTube. In this one I'll be teaching all young girls and women if a rapist tries to use the two-handed chokehold or the full Nelson to try to harm you. First starting with the two-handed chokehold. Let's say you're walking the streets getting your exercise. And then without, and you're at the park, and without warning, some guy you don't know walks up, puts you in the two-handed chokehold. What you do? Pretend he has you. Act like you're not going to do nothing. And then when he thinks he has you, put your chin down so you can breathe a little bit. Then use the front snap kick to strike his groin or knees. Then, use a, then you can either use the palm heel strike to strike his nose or knife hand strike his ears or you can use both your thumbs put them right behind his ears on the very soft spot which is right here and that's instant pain right there or take your front finger or your and your thumb put them together on the very soft spot in between his neck and shoulder press and squeeze really hard and that's instant pain there or you can take both your fists, strike both his wrists. That's instant pain there. And then, you can, after he lets go, you can use the front snap or the side kick to strike his groin or knees. Then you can elbow strike his jaws. Then you can use the hammer fist to strike his groin. Then you can either take both your hands, grab, grab one of his legs, Twist his ankle, sit on his knee, twist his ankle, and break and break his knee. Or you can put your front foot in front of you, take both your hands, grab this arm right here. Pick him up after you grab his left arm like this, then you can twist his twist your hip, throw him on the ground really hard. Then use your front foot to trap his front wrist. Then use your back foot to Stomp his groin, stomp his knee, stomp, stomp. Then use his foot right here to stomp his face, stomp his throat, stomp, kia. And then, if you have a phone, grab it, call the police and tell them what happened. Or if you're by a close family member or a friend's house, or a neighbor, you know, go there, tell them to call the police, or tell them what happened. Or let's say you're by a public place, like let's say a restaurant such as, such as McDonald's, or Burger King, or uh, let's say a grocery store like Food Lion, or Publix, or a pharmacy like Rite Aid, or you're by, let's say, the dollar store. Go there, tell someone who works there, tell them to call the police and let them know what happened. Now watch again. Let's say you're at the park getting your exercise. And then without warning, some guy you don't know walks up to you, put, puts both his hands around his hand, around your neck to try to choke you. What you do? Pretend he has you. Play possum with him to get him to take his guard down. And then, when he thinks he has you, put your chin down so you can breathe a little bit. Then, use the front snap kick to strike his groin or knees. And then, after that, you can use the palm heel strike to strike his nose. You can eat or use the knife hand strikes to strike both his ears. Or put both your thumbs right behind his ears on the very soft spot, which is right here. Press and squeeze really hard. That's instant pain there. Or put your front finger and thumb together on the very soft spot in between his neck and shoulder. Press and squeeze really hard, and that's instant pain there. Or you can take both your fists, strike both his wrists to make him let go. And then after he's letting go... You can use the front snap or the side kick to strike his groin or knees. Elbow strike his jaws.
then you can use the hammer fist to strike his groin. And then after that, you can either take both your hands, grab one of his legs, pull up, sit on his knees, break it, and then break his ankle twist by twisting it. Or the most common way, put your front foot right here, take both your hands, grab this arm right here, pick him up like this, twist your hip, throw him on the ground. Then take your front foot, track the front wrist. Then use your back foot to stomp his groin, stomp his knee, stomp, stomp. Then use his same foot to stomp his face, stomp his throat, stomp, kia. And then if you have a phone, grab it, call the police, tell them what happened. Or if you're by a close family member, a friend's house or a neighbor you know really well, go there, tell them to call the police and let them know what happened. Or if you're by a public place, like let's say a fast food place like McDonald's or Burger King or a grocery store like Food Lion or Publix or a pharmacy like Rite Aid or let's say the dollar store or let's say um, you're by the dollar store, for example, Go there, tell someone who works there, tell them to call the police and let them know what happened. Now I'm going to show you one last time, then I'm going to show you how it's going to look in combat C, first by grabbing their leg. You're at, let's say you're at the park, getting your exercise, and without warning, some guy you don't know walks up and he puts you in a two-handed chokehold. What you do? Play possum with this attacker. Act like you're not going to do nothing. Then what you do, put your chin down so you can breathe a little. And then use a front snap kick to strike his groin or knees. Then you can either palm heel strike his nose. Or you can knife hand strike his ears. Or use both your thumbs to put and put them right behind their, his ears on the very soft spot which is right here and that's instant pain there. Or you can put your front finger and thumb together on the very soft spot in between their neck and shoulder, press and squeeze really hard and that's instant pain there. Or you can take both your fists, strike both their wrists. And then after they've let them go, you can use either the front snap or the side kick to strike their groin or knees. Elbow strike the jaws. Use the, the hammer fist to strike their groin. And then you can take both your hands, grab one of their legs, pull, sit on the knee, break it, twist the ankle. Or the most common way, put your front foot right here, take both hands, grab this arm right here, pick them up off the ground, twist your hip, throw them on the ground. Then take your front foot, trap the front wrist. Then use the back foot to... Stomp the groin, stomp the knee, stomp, stomp. Then use the same foot to stomp the face, stomp the throat, stomp, kia. And then after that, if you have a phone, grab it, call the police, tell them what happened. Or if you're by a close family member or a friend's house or a neighbor you know, Go there, tell them to call the police and let them know what happened. Or if you're by a public place, such as a, a fast food place like McDonald's or Burger King, or a grocery store like Food Lion, or Publix, or let's say a pharmacy like Rite Aid, or the dollar store, go there, tell someone who works there to call the police and let them know what happened. Now here's how it's going to look at combat speed. First, by grabbing their leg from behind. Kia, 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 now, if you grab their arm. Mm 
That's how it's going to look in combat speed. Now, if they try to use the full Nelson to try to harm you, let's say you're at, you're heading to a friend's house that you know really well. And without warning, some guy walks up and he puts you in the full Nelson. What you do? Play possum. Act like you're not going to do nothing. Then put both your hands together like this. Use your strength to keep him from pressing down. And then either use both your feet to stomp both his feet. Back kick his groin or knees. Then you can elbow strike his jaws. And then after that, you can elbow strike his stomach. Go into a deep horseback stance. Elbow strike his stomach again. Then you can use the hammer fist to strike his groin. And then after he's letting go... You can use both your hands to grab this leg right here, sit on his knee, break it, twist his ankle, then use this foot to stomp his throat. Or put your front foot in front of you, take both hands, grab this arm right here, grab it, pick him up off the ground. Twist your hip, throw him on the ground. Then take the front foot, trap his front wrist so he can't get up. Then use the back foot to Stomp his groin, stomp the knee, stomp, stomp. Then use this foot right, this same foot right here to stomp his face, stomp his throat, stomp, Kia. And then if you have a phone, grab it, call the police, tell them what happened. Or if you're by that close friend's house that you're walking to, Go there, tell that, that friend what happened, tell them to call the police and let them know what happened. Or if you're by a close public, by a public place such as McDonald's or Burger King or let's say a grocery store like Food Line or Publix or Rite Aid or the dollar store, go there, tell someone who works there to call the police and let them know what happened. Watch again. You're on your way to a close friend's house. And without warning, some guy walks up, puts you in the full Nelson. What you do, play possum. Act like you're not going to do nothing. Then when he thinks he has you, use both your hands and use your strength to put both your hands on your forehead to keep him from pressing down. Then use both, either use both your feet to strike both his feet, back kick his groin or knees, elbow strike his jaws, then you can eat, and then elbow strike his stomach. Then, when he's letting go a little bit, then go into a really deep horseback, elbow strike his stomach again, then you can use the hammer fist to strike his groin. And then, after he's stunned, you can either grab his leg right here, pull up, sit on his knee, twist his ankle, and break his knee. Or the most common way, put your front foot right here, take both hands, grab this arm right here, pick him up off the ground, twist your hip, throw him on the ground. Then take your front foot, trap his front wrist. Then use your back foot to stomp his groin. Stomp his knee, stomp, stomp. Then use this same foot to stomp his face, stomp his throat, stomp, Kia! And then if you have a, a phone, call the police and let them know what happened. Or if you're by that close friend's house, go there, tell them call the police or let them know what happened. What happened, or if you're by, let's say, a close neighbor or family member's house that you know really well, go there and tell them what happened. Or if you're by a public place, such as McDonald's, like a restaurant like McDonald's or Burger King, or let's say you're at the, uh, by a grocery store like Food Lion or Publix, or a pharmacy like Rite Aid or the dollar store, go there, tell someone who works there to call the police and let them know what happened. Now I'm going to show you one last time. Then I'm going to show you how it's going to combat speed. First grab them in their leg 
and then throwing them on the ground. And then we'll be done. You're on your way to a friend's house. And then without warning, some guy walks up and he puts you in the full nest. What you do? Play possum. Act like he has you. And then when he thinks he has you, put both your hands like this. Put it on your forehead. Keep Use your strength to keep him from pressing down. Then either use then use both your feet to stomp both his feet, back kick his groin or knees. Elbow strike his jaws, and then you can elbow strike his stomach. Then go into a really deep horseback stance, then you can elbow strike his stomach again, use the hammer fist to strike his groin. And then, after he's stunned, you can either use both your hands, grab one of his legs, sit on his knee, break it, or tw and then twist his ankle, or the most common way, put your front foot in front of you, take both your hands, grab this arm, pick him up off the ground, twist your hip, throw him on the ground. Then take your front foot, trap your, his front wrist. Then use the back foot to stomp his groin, stomp his knee, stomp, stomp. Then use this same foot, this foot right here, to stomp his face, stomp his throat, stomp, kia. And if you have a phone, grab it, call the police and let them know what happened. Or, if, you, if you're by that close friend's house, go there, tell that friend to call the police or let them know what happened. Or if you're by a close family member or neighbor's house, that you know, go there, tell them, let, tell them to call the police, let them know what happened. Or you can go to, if you're by a, a public place, like a restaurant like McDonald's or Burger King, not or even a grocery store like Food Lion or Publix or a pharmacy like Rite Aid or even the dollar store, go there, tell someone who works there to call the police, tell them what happened. Now here's how it's going to combat speed. First, if you grab their leg. Kia, 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 kia. Now if you pick them up off the ground. Kia. That's how both of it's going to look in combat speed. Thank you for watching my new self-defense martial arts teaching video to help all young girls and women. If a rapist tries to use a two-handed chokehold or the full Nelson to try to harm you. And to all young girls and women watching this video, practice this. This could save your life. Next Wednesday, I'll be teaching... I'll be showing all... Young girls and women, it'll be a domestic violent one. If your abusive ex-husband or boyfriend tries to use the, throw you to the wall to use the lapel grab or the front bear hug to try to harm you. And that'll be next Wednesday. Tomorrow on YouTube, I will be doing a yoga bodybuilding performance video doing the the downward facing dog, doing the bridge up and the downward facing dog. And Friday I will be doing a martial art performance video for you too. And the yoga will be for YouTube as well. Friday I'll be doing a, a martial art performance video on YouTube, doing my green belt form gen three times. Be ready for those videos till then. Till then, see you next time. May God be with all children always.